Hi, welcome back to another MK of Kenny Beach video. I'm going to be looking at another piece of equipment which was taken by Kenny on his final hike, as well as talking about unreleased footage. But before I get into that, one thing I just wanted to mention, something that I kind of find unique, is that out of all of these videos I have done, over 50 of them within the playlist, they've been all done without a script talking on the spot, not reading anything, just saying it as I go along in terms of giving my opinion and stuff. I just wanted to mention that. Sometimes it can be difficult, I end up spazzing out with my mouth, saying the wrong thing and then I've got to keep redoing it. Um, I don't edit too much in terms of like the jump cuts between when I'm talking because I feel then it's kind of unnatural. I want it to be raw. So uh, yeah. So getting into this video, looking at another bit of equipment, what Kenny took with him. Now, we already know about the gun. He did take it with him. We know about his mobile phone. He took that with him. We are undecided with the backpack. I don't know if he took it with him or if it was left at home. Some people, at least, claim a backpack was found by hikers, but that's kind of undecided. We don't know if it's true or false. So a bit of a dark patch there. The only other bit of equipment that we know of, supposedly at least, was Kenny's camera was taken with him. And that was mentioned by Kenny's ex-girlfriend, which I'll show the odd screenshot in a minute to explain further and link on to the footage. But this camera that was taken with him, supposedly, was just for taking pictures and not the usual camcorder Kenny would have took with him like when he did his MK video. So obviously he probably wouldn't have took his tripod either. Makes sense. So you gotta ask yourself, if someone is suicidal, why did they take, potentially, a backpack with them, which may have supplies in, to stay alive? Why would they take a mobile phone, which could be traced to locate and find and help them? And why would an individual take a camera with them if they're suicidal? That's one of the key focuses. Now, based off the year, as well as Kenny's age, I don't believe he's the sort of person to live stream a suicide or take a picture moments before death, as some people have done over the course of time. Very quick example being Rina Pelenkova took a selfie of themselves lying on a train track or something moments before the train comes towards them. That's an example, but there's a big age difference. And I don't think Kenny is that sort of attention-seeking style person in that area, at least. So what other uses would that camera have? I mean, if it was to do with personal photos and stuff, maybe just to look back on, why does he take his mobile phone as well? Because mobile phone, there's no signal, you can't call, you can't phone, you can't text anyone, at least. At at most, you probably could look at the odd picture on your mobile phone of maybe things you took or a person you took a picture of, who you know, family, whatever, and you're looking back at it. But then why would you take an additional camera as well? Makes no sense because it's all these items aren't going to have any use or worth if you're not intending coming back from wherever you're going. So that's to take into mind. So we'll get into the comment which was left. I would say it's a comment which hasn't been brought up as much. So here is an example of part of a comment Sharon left on one of her videos about Kenny. The actual comment was very long so I had to crop it. But you'll find it if you look. You just have to scroll down. And as it reads, what I found odd is that his video camera was left behind but his regular camera was not found in his home, so we figured he took this photo camera with him. So, they themselves are a little uncertain because they assume, but if a piece of equipment isn't in the house, 
but another piece is, then most likely he must have took it with him because where else would it have gone? I don't think he would have sold it. I don't think he would have accidentally lost it. So yeah, there's that to take into mind. And as it said, video camera left behind most likely in his house. And that's most likely the video camera which would have been used when he did his M Cave Hike video on YouTube. Uh, potentially as well as the other videos which are no longer on his channel. So there's that to take into mind. Regular camera, as said, just for taking pictures. But why would someone need to take pictures if they're going to commit suicide? Weird. Move on to another comment on the same video. I've just got to try and find it. So uh, here we go. It reads, I even have one more video clip left on his camera of the M Cave video he did not add to his video. It is when he reached his car and had his cold beer and talked of not finding the cave. I will look at putting some things together for November. It will be four years. Okay. Well, one thing for sure at least, this individual did not upload that video in the end because the channel seems to have been inactive for quite a few years. That's just the way it is. Maybe they're busy or they're just unable to do certain things or they don't feel like it. But isn't it weird how there's unreleased footage? The key question is, what could have been said? Was there any hints in that video itself? Now, I don't know if maybe how he recorded it. Could he have got in the car, put the camera down, turned it around and then filmed himself speaking at the camera, maybe drinking a bit as well and talking? Because if that was the case, you'd be able to see Kenny's facial expressions at the exact time of coming to realisation that he did not find what he really wanted to find. Maybe... By looking at that video, analysing his body language, facial language, his blink rate, his eye contact and other muscles within the body, maybe spasms or whatever, may highlight how he's feeling at the time, what's on his mind. It might reveal some kind of uneasiness, simple disappointment or something darker, who knows. Why was it not uploaded? I guess that's the question. And what else could he have said in that video? Because technically speaking, that bit of unreleased footage is the very, from what we know of, is the very last piece of footage before Kenny disappeared. So his M Cave hike video on YouTube wasn't his last recorded video. It was this extra piece which was recorded on the same day as when he went on that hike because that's the final moments of Kenny talking which we've not seen of and this idea of unreleased footage kind of reminds me back to footage that I do believe was on Kenny's channel in the past not this but other hiking related stuff videos of him which are no longer available because it I do still feel that his channel was a bit more bulked out in videos than it is now. But unfortunately, never got a screenshot. If I got a screenshot, then it would have cleared a lot of things up, obviously. Question is, does anyone have screenshots? Using these Wayback machines and everything, they don't help. They don't work. I tried them. So yeah, so you got these two comments. Unreleased footage. Kind of interesting. So from going by the comments left by Sharon, I wouldn't say many people have covered those specific details. Yes, people might have mentioned briefly about the camera and exactly what Kenny did in terms of what Sharon was bullet pointing, the times and the dates and stuff. I wouldn't say many people have mentioned about that unreleased footage as much in detail. So I feel it was worth mentioning. And you know, at the end of the day, are they lying? Or are they telling the truth? I think 
and it's just a simple video of Kenny recording himself talking about not finding the cave and being disappointed. It just seems like a video Kenny didn't upload or include in his M cave hike video because maybe he thought there was no point to including it in the video because it didn't add much value, it didn't help much. But obviously it may have more value and help a lot more now, especially if you can hear his voice, if you can see his face, as he's just almost like doing a debriefing of the hike he did on the day, because we didn't see Kenny's face at the end of the M Cave hike video. He sounded a little bit disappointed, maybe a little bit flat, but we didn't see his actual face. A face can reveal a lot about someone, so that unreleased footage could help solve something. Now, people could say, um, Sharon is lying and there is no footage, or maybe there is other footage or some kind of footage, but reveals something else and it wants to be hidden, who knows. But I feel this unreleased footage does exist, but the person who's in hold of these possessions, items and footage, obviously hasn't uploaded it, have they forgotten? Have they deleted it? Have they sold the camera? Who knows? I don't know. We've not heard any updates for two years or so or more. Final thing, next video might be a bit shorter, but it depends if there's any replies back, but one user commented on the previous video about the backpack saying how another YouTuber has or did find a backpack in a key area. I can't remember the na name of it, sheep something, probably the area where Kenny was or hiked through. And um, this hiker found the backpack but didn't touch it, just left it. So if there's any updates on that, if you want a video covering that, providing there is updates or something, then yeah. I'll do a video on it because at the end of the day he would leave a backpack lying around somewhere there. It could be Kenny's and if not it could be someone else, someone else missing, so you never know. Um, the reason why I say that is because you know the area it is you've got to go out, put effort in to go to the place and then go further in and if it's an area where people go to gear up properly and everything, I don't think they're stupid enough to leave things behind, especially key items. Whereas if you're down a street walking through a town or a city, you might find the odd lost glove or woolly hat or something. That makes sense because you're in a more comfortable environment. You can be a bit careless, a bit reckless at times, a bit more forgetful. But when you're in harsher terrain, more dangerous environment, you've got to be more alert, you've got to be more prepared, more ready, more focused and make sure you don't forget anything and you've got everything type thing. So it is a bit weird to find a backpack in a desolate place like that. So I've talked on a bit too much there but if there is any updates I'll do a video. Final thing is, well the two other videos one, giving my opinion on really Robin's theory or claim about the demons being involved in the desert. Need to do a video on that. And another one is like a reply or giving my opinion and thoughts on Scott Natal hype videos. Looking through them, giving my opinion saying what I saw, did I pick up any, on anything, did I find anything strange, and my overall opinion on the actual location and mapping of where he's going and his aim, as well as potentially mentioning the odd few conspiracies about what other people supposedly said. But it depends how you want that format. You can leave a comment below if you want, or if you get towards the end of this video, at least. But 
do you want it in stages or do you want it all bulked up into just one video? I know I can make my own mind up at the end of the day, but it depends how you want to see it. Do you want to see it all released at once or do you want it released naturally, part one, part two, like how he's released multiple different videos and just go for it piece by piece, video by video, give my opinion or see, did I find anything strange within him? Maybe I could bulk or pair up some of the videos. You know, if there was one video which I found only one strange thing or saw only one thing, but then there was another video and then another video which had separate one things and I could combine them all together. But if um, like there was part one, part two, part three, and you had lots of stuff within each one, then I guess it can be separated then. Because at the end of the day, you don't want it, you don't want it drip fed in that way. It might seem like that in the past with certain stuff, but that's only because I've only just found something, so I might as well mention it. Oh, now I've just found something else, so I'll mention that. It's like, well, you can't call it live, but you know, like when you get the news updates coming, uh, one minute and then five minutes, there's a new update, and then 10 minutes, there's a new update. It's like that, but over the course of days or so. I'm talking too much. <laughs> so uh, that's it for now. See what happens next. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.